Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. We're, of course, Dr. Ryan Stanton, Doc on call. How are Hello. you, buddy? Doing well. You were in late last week to talk yes. about ticks, but we want to bring you back because you were one of 14 doctors mm -hmm. that were invited to the White House. Was it last week? Yeah, last Wednesday. We and we're talking all about the Affordable Care Act, but what I find interesting, why you? That's a good, that's a great question. That's, that's us, people. Well, that's, it, interestingly, I think because Kentucky was so aggressive with the Affordable Care Act that they wanted to have input from Kentucky. In fact, Kentucky had three doctors there no. out of the 14. And so it was myself, Dr. Ralph Alvarado, state senator, as well as uh, Dr. Thornberry, who's also from rural Kentucky, a family physician there as well. And so it's pretty neat. You know, you get to go out there, you're a little bit of sticker shock going up into the west wing of the White House, the cabinet room and actually having folks listening, maybe it falls on deaf ears, but at least maybe it was something tight. catches. Might oh gosh, you know it was, you know it was. <laughs> and, and why do you think it's important for doctors to be involved in this kind of legislative reform? Well, I think it's important because that's the relationship. Right. The relationship is that physician or provider and the patient. And you have to have that relationship and you have to build the system around that relationship. And that's exactly what I said. If you build the system around this relationship of the patient and the provider, we can be successful. The problem is we're focusing on too many special interests and not on the most important aspect of healthcare, and that's the relationship between the physician and the patient. Do you feel that, and it's interesting that you said that you had three doctors from Kentucky, mm -hmm. why do you feel that they felt the need to have three doctors from Kentucky out of the 14? Well, I think it's because of how Kentucky was touted as the success of the expansion of the Affordable Care Act. And there's been some issues. And I think everybody agrees there's some aspects of the Affordable Care Act that are great, but we need to move on from there and advance it. And so the challenge with politics is saying we all are nothing, either side or the other, when in fact in medicine we're saying actually there's things from both sides we need to pull together. Do you think they listen? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. And even if they don't actively listen, I think there's a lot of ideas up there. I hope that the seed is planted and that starts to grow and they start to think about it. Even if they come up and think it's their idea mm. and then they say, hey, I had this great idea mm -hmm. and it's something that one of the physicians said, I don't care. If it helps, if it helps medicine, helps our patients, then wherever the, wherever the idea comes from, whoever takes credit, I honestly don't care. Well, is there anything people should be doing at home to educate themselves on what's happening with health care reform? I think you need to learn about, uh, learn about our system and also okay. think you need to learn about what's going on in the rest of the world. I mean, I think the Australian system is a fantastic system. I went there and did some uh, education on that with students a number of years ago. Well, we see Hillary Clinton many years ago when uh, Clinton was, in, was the president. She came to Australia to try to copy the Australian mm -hmm. and the Canadian system because it works for those, our countries there. And I think we're working towards some yeah. aspect of that system because we have to do something. What we're doing right now is not financially sustainable. And that, I think both sides agree that that is, it, we can't continue in this current pace. So we have to figure out something. The issue is with how divided our current political environment is in the United States, it's almost impossible. So we have to figure out how to get together and hopefully some physicians who can get up there, both sides of the aisle can get up there and say, here, let's, let's get some common sense and work well, this through. Well, we appreciate you representing yeah, exactly. Kentucky. Thank you. Thank you. And we also appreciate that no matter what side you're on, we all agree we need better. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. Hey, up next, we'll sit down with the Kentucky State police to discuss the crimes against children task force keep it right here everyone a really great segment coming up